What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to fulfill your orders using Oblo if you're drop shipping from AliExpress. So if you're watching this then you've probably got your first order, you might have even got a few in your first day and now it comes to the point where you've gotta fulfill your orders and you wanna be doing this then as quickly and as efficiently as possible because at the end of the day then time is money. So whether you're paying somebody else to do the orders, you wanna make sure they can do them as quick as possible or if you're doing them yourself then you wanna make sure you can do them as quick as possible as well so you can put more time into the things that matter into the things that actually bring the money in so the product research um, putting out Facebook ads whatever it is so in this video then I'm going to show you the whole process from start to finish and I've got a couple of little tips and tricks to show you guys as well that you might not have seen elsewhere before and that being said then that's the topic thank you for tuning in I hope you enjoy the video and let's get straight into it what is going on then guys, welcome to my computer. So if you are drop shipping from AliExpress then I 100% recommend that you use this app which is called Oblo. I'm not affiliated them with them in any single way but they will just make your life so much easier. It will save you so much time. As you can see I've got 268 pages of orders at 15 orders per page. The amount of time using this app is gonna save you. Um, it's just a must have. So make sure you guys have that installed from the go. Uh, make sure you get the Chrome extension as well. If you just look at the top right, it's this little arrow here. Um, and it's gonna pretty much almost fully automate the order process with you, whether you're processing the orders yourself or you plan on, on paying a VA to do it for you, time is money. So the less time you have to pay somebody else to do it, then the more money you're gonna make. And the less time you yourself have to spend processing orders, then obviously the more time you can devote to the actual things that are gonna make you money. So the product research, the Facebook ads, whatever it is. So that being said, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a test order so I can take you guys through the whole process step by step, start to finish. So here we are then, as you can see, I've set up this test order. The customer is myself. And just a couple of little quick tips and tricks then to show you guys you might not be aware of that you can do with Oblo is number one, if you click on the customer, it will show you their address. And I just find this really handy for if somebody doesn't know what their order number is, and trust me, so many people will forget or just won't even know what their order number is. They'll lose their email, whatever it is, and they'll give you um, their postcode or whatever it is. Or if you need to check an address um, without having to actually go into the order or find it on Shopify, you can just click on their name and it will show you. And number two then, what I always do is to make sure that all orders have been fulfilled. You can use this little fulfillment kind of option selector here and if you just choose the unfulfilled ones no matter how old the orders are as long as they're in within this date range up here then it will show you the unfulfilled one so it's a great way especially when you start getting hundreds of orders coming in every single day it's a great way of making sure that you don't miss any orders so what is the first step then the first step to do is obviously make sure you've got the extension installed make sure you're logged into your aliexpress account as well it's just going to make the process a lot quicker you don't have to log in um, on this first one and you just click the order products button and what it's going to do is it's automatically going to take you across to AliExpress it's going to add the product to cart it's going to fill in your address details and it's pretty much going to complete the whole order process for you so as you can see it's working away it's doing it so on and so forth it adds the phone number everything and one thing then that you wanna make sure that you do is make sure that this automatically gets filled in for you because you don't wanna to have to be putting that information in on every single order. Like I said, it comes down to numbers and time is money. Even if it takes you say, only 10 seconds to put that message in if you're processing a hundred orders in a day that's a thousand seconds i don't know what the maths is on that but if you're paying somebody then it's just less time you have to pay somebody for and the more money you're going to make and we all want to make as much money as possible so how do we add this note automatically then let's go back to oblo and we're going to click on settings on the bottom left here so i'm just gonna have to move myself up um, we'll click on settings and it's gonna take you to this screen here. Now, the reason that's hidden is because I don't wanna reveal the name of this particular Shopify store. Um, but a couple of other tips as well, or just one tip, I guess, is 
make sure you click notify my customers and then that way when oh below when your orders when you sync your orders and an order gets marked as shipped it will mark it as shipped in your Shopify backend as well and it will notify the customer and then if you put your custom shipping tracking URL to this what it does is when it sends the tracking details to your customer it uses this URL and it will also put the tracking code on the end of that as well which makes it a full link so when people click on it then it will show them the exact tracking details of that particular order as long as you use an e-packet it will show them the full details they won't have to import their tracking ID whatever it is it will take them straight to that tracking page that they're going to be interested in so the way to add that message then so you don't have to add it every single time if you click on suppliers and this is where we're going to put it in so you want to make sure you choose a default shipping method obviously put that to ePacket if we go back to our cart page you can clearly see it changes it to ePacket automatically um, and you can also override the phone number as well I put my own personal number in there just because if there's a problem with delivery then I need to know about it not the customer necessarily I can always let the customer know if they need to know um, but again I've just put that to a blank one so I don't want to be giving out my phone number obviously and then the custom note whatever you put in that box will be the no in the note box on AliExpress so um, what I tend to do is always use this format just purely because it reminds the supplier that you want to use ePacket, believe it or not. Um, there was this one particular supplier, I can't remember who they were, but it was for a bracelet. And even though I selected ePacket, they sent everything by AliExpress standard shipping and just the headache it gave me was just unbelievable. So from that point onwards, I always reinstate the fact I want it sending by ePacket. I always put drop shipping because Chinese suppliers, especially on AliExpress, tend to know what drop shipping is. So they tend to know exactly what goes along the lines when somebody is drop shipping. But just in case they don't know, um, I put no invoice or promotions. That way I don't have to worry about my customer receiving a promotion or an invoice with the exact price of the product inside. Plus there's gonna be no promotions or no Chinese leaflets or whatever it is. So make sure you've got those custom notes, phone numbers and the default method is ePacket. Um, it's just gonna save you or whoever's fulfilling your orders a lot of time. So moving down then, um, there's not really a lot more I can say in this. You can choose your payment method however you wish to choose to pay. As you can see then, I'm using a Visa debit card. Um, I get quite, it's quite a popular question in fact, do people use credit cards? Does it have to be a business debit card? Whatever it is. And pretty much it depends on what your circumstances are. If you are trying to like cash flow things really cleverly and you don't have a lot of money to start with, then credit card is a potential option, but just be very careful and very disciplined with how you spend your money. Um, but otherwise I just go with a debit card. That way I haven't got to worry about borrowing money that I don't have. And plus I try and be clever about the way I cash flow things. So I put the money in up front and I make sure that I've always got enough money coming in um, to cover what's going out, if that makes sense, or what I'm spending on orders. Just that way, I don't have to wait for the Shopify payouts before I place somebody's order. When it comes to drop shipping, everybody knows the shipping times are rubbish. So we wanna make sure that we're placing our orders um, as soon as possible. Me personally, um, my VA does it every single night. Once midnight goes, they place absolutely every single order for that day, um, and that happens pretty much every single day. So you've got a couple of different options. Again, it comes down to whatever you want. And then you can just click confirm and pay and that's gonna place your order. And then that being said, that pretty much covers the whole order process. Um, any questions on anything whatsoever, please do leave a comment down below or reach out in any of my social media links. Um, I do get back to every single question. If you want it answered more quickly, then leave a comment down below. It does sometimes take me a couple of days with my social media links. Um, but anyway, that being said, if you are still watching, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something new, please hit that like button as well. Um, and that being said as well, then thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.